New details on last night's end of the General Assembly session. It came to a close abruptly, leaving the fate of dozens of bills undecided. And new at six tonight, the House Speaker tells us what contributed to its demise and which legislation was left in limbo. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell joins us now live outside the State House in Providence. It was an abrupt end of the night for the House yesterday. They are now in recess. They stopped the night after negotiations deadlocked on several different bills. Last night was supposed to be a busy night for the House, but it ended quickly. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello says minor hang-ups on minor bills between the House and Senate caused a slowdown in negotiations, forcing him to call it a night. I warned folks that we were running out of time. He says the discussions were going on for a while, lasting until the early morning yesterday, picking it back up that afternoon. Unfortunately, the pace... Uh was very slow. We were very slow at reaching agreement on issues that were not very consequential. Mattiello says some of the more consequential bills include the charter schools and hemp bills, and there's also a bill about chicken coops that passed the House but hit a roadblock in the Senate. That was near the end, but that was just after a long list of uh, slow negotiations. Both the House and Senate are now in recess. The House is coming back in the fall to continue with their session. No word yet from the Senate, but in a statement, their spokesman says, we are disappointed that some issues were left unresolved, such as the Good Samaritan overdose bill. And Mattiello says when they come back in the fall, they will deal with substantial issues like roadworks and possibly the paw socks. He says most of the other issues will be brought up in January. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.